Games have always existed and will always exist. Like any other art form, nothing's made in a vacuum. It's influenced by other storytelling methods. So with video games, you have the option to kind of give other people a window into your world. My name is Akira Thompson, and I'm a game designer. If you just have that inspiration, you have that bug, and you want to design a game, it's best to start on paper. I like to kind of like work the ideas out, but with games it's like such an open horizon. There's so many things that people have yet to do and like there's so much discovery that hasn't really happened yet. There's so much uncovered ground. My inspiration comes from all over. Uh, listening to music, uh, riding my bike, going for walks, having conversations with friends. Because as you are starting out, you know, you might not know how to get there, but you know where you're going. and you know, eventually one step leads to the other. It's a, a process. I was born in Hazelcrest, Illinois, which is the south suburb of Chicago. Um, but I mostly grew up in Peoria, Illinois, which is in the center of Illinois. It's a smaller-ish town. Growing up, I wanted to make comic books, then I wanted to make games, and I wanted to make movies, and I wanted to make comic books again. You know, I had no idea how to get into these things, but no one knows how to do it when they start out, you know. In high school, um, I was just kind of like a quiet, nerdy kid, you know. I, I just was really obsessed with um, comics and movies and animation. I went to college at Columbia College Chicago. I studied uh, film with a concentration in animation. I met a lot of really good friends there. The relationships that you build when you're at these institutions, um, these are the people that you're gonna be working with later. I've done things from like character design and animation, I've run an art gallery, um, I've been a game tester, I uh, have been a Disney Imagineer, uh, working on theme parks and things like that. Um, but like one of the more really significant things to me is like my work with Indicate, which is um, all volunteer. I just put that time in because that community is like very important to me. People who put everything into their game, send it out. Uh, it's judged by their peers. Those that the jury selects um, are then like showcased and get a lot of attention and awards. It puts things in perspective, like that uh, all of that hard work and the struggle gives you perspective on what is really uh, worth putting energy into. There's some people, um, myself included, who would love just to see anyone and everyone getting involved and starting to make games just so that um, it's not such like a homogenous thing. Like video games are mostly made by white males and that's just what it is. That's like the fact. But when you have an art form that is only made by like a small percentage of the population, then it's not really reflective of the overall culture. Games can be made by anybody. So it doesn't necessarily need to be that you come from a certain school or you went to a certain school or you did a certain thing. Um, the main, the most important aspect is, is that like you take it seriously and that you work hard at it. Because making a game is hard, especially a video game. You have to just know that like this is what I want to do and continue to push. So I, I feel like it's always worth it to put that effort in. Um, it's easy to just like say no and sit down and, and quit and not make it because it's hard. But like once you put in that time and energy like and you have a thing in front of you that you made and like someone else is like enjoying, there's you can, how do you beat that? There's nothing better than that.